Hey you YouTubers, Tazman here, and I'm bringing you a new concept. Well, at least it's a new concept to me. I haven't seen anyone else do it. Uh, what I call this is Tazman's Ultimate Farm. And uh, so it's just tough. T-U-F. <laughs> nice. Uh, so anyway, uh, this is it right here, and right now we're in Peaceful. Now, most mob farms that people build on servers, uh, if you ask me, are lacking quite a few things. One, they use water for the mobs. In fact, why we do this, I'm going to go ahead and let mobs start spawning. Um, but anyway, so one is that... Uh, People disable spiders because they're, f you know, they're four wide altogether. They take up uh, four spaces, and it's really hard to set this up where you uh, can access your loot and everything. Number two is is most of them use water to filter the mobs down, and this is a completely waterless system. In fact one of my goals with this actually I had three big goals one is to be able to get the spiders and separate them from the other mobs two is make it enderman friendly so I can also get ender pearls and three you can build this at the very beginning of the game if you mine enough cobble uh, because all it uses is cobble and wood now as you can see they're falling left right and center now to even make it a little more efficient uh, this is the spider area only spiders will go in there and then on this side just to make it a little more efficient we have more mobs so as you can see there's absolutely no water this is just a pure gravity drop thing they just wander and eventually go in the things and I'll show you all that in just a minute but as you can see it's pretty effective since we just barely turned it off of uh, peaceful We've already got 93 m entities in the world. 40 of them are up there, uh, and it looks like the rest of them are down here. So, uh, and then of course you have your spider area here. So, and we just heard an enderman drop, and it looks like there's even a w two witches in there. So let's go ahead and just start taking these guys out. Now, uh, most mobs with a, with a stone sword will actually be a one-hit kill. Witches are, well, I think they're three. Endermen are four with a sword. Uh, but everything else is one. Now the other thing about this is it's completely friendly towards uh, baby zombies and everything else. Uh, you can actually stand right here. Nothing will aggro you. So you can see up there. So nothing will aggro you. Uh, if I come up here and look at everything they can't see me because I've got a half slab including the baby so if we go ahead and just break all this so this thing's been on maybe what uh, three four minutes I don't know maybe f let's say five minutes now one thing that's different here is I'm on a flat world so that means there are no caves now so this is showing you the maximum that this thing can do uh, if you light up all the caves and all areas underneath it, then this can be a very effective way of getting lots of mob drops. Now also, you can actually come right underneath spiders. Spider jockeys uh, still can make it through here, and I'll show you why. But other than that, you can just keep walking around in a circle. We've already got an ender eye. We've got multiple witches. and grab all the loot so anyway that is this so let's go figure out how on earth you build this thing because it's it's actually really simple um, and if you're on a skyblock map this is very very effective because you will not have any other uh, cave systems and mob uh, areas that mobs can actually spawn so, uh, hold on just one second, let's just, we're going to call it quits right here. Now, spiders do, depending on if they grab the wall, 
they won't die. If they don't grab the wall and land directly, they actually will die most of the time. Uh, one reason we don't want spiders to die every time is if a spider dies, see that spider up there? If we can get him to come down. If he dies, he only drops string, as you can see there. If they don't die and you get to hit him with the sword, they have a chance of dropping the spider eye. So uh, in game for potions and stuff, you might want spider eyes. So that's why this is designed this way. But a lot of them do die. But like I said, you do get a lot that don't. So oh, there's another witch. Oh, we lost our sword. Which means everything. Now without a sword, uh, your creepers, uh, your creepers are just a single hit. Skeletons are a single hit. Uh, witches are a bunch. Endermen, of course, are a bunch. Um, just because you don't do enough damage with your hand. Zombies are a two-hit kill without uh, any weapon. Oh, we need a weapon. Uh, I don't think I have one. Let's just get one real quick. Oh, here we go. Slash game mode one. Oh, whoops. Game mode one. There we go. Uh, so we're just going to grab, because you do, obviously, you go through your items pretty fast. So we're just going to grab a couple swords. And there we go. Maybe three. We'll kill off everyone that's in here now, and then uh, we'll go ahead and show you how to build this guy. Now, it can take a little while to build, so uh, no spiders. And there's another witch. So anyway, this is a really good design to build in, say, a skyblock or in uh, in something like that. Oh, we need food too. There we go. <laughs> and let's go ahead and talk about it a little bit. So let me get fed up. I'll full up. And we'll go ahead and let's see how many's up there now. Yeah, so 71 still. So uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna jump into creative and we're gonna go look at this and the structure behind it. Uh, so I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So as you can see, it's still spawning like crazy. Uh, we got a couple spiders, but let's go take a look at the insides of this. So basically we have four spawning pads and you can make them as big as you want but as you can see it's just these areas and then we have a two deep canal now these are designed simply for your mobs to fall in spiders will not fall in these because they are bigger than that and I gotta get out of there so as you can see spiders won't fall in there but spiders can go under this and into this other area now these solid blocks right here are actually their design is to keep uh, jockeys Hopefully they take enough damage because if a jockey got underneath there and the spiders kind of messing around uh, They're just gonna sit there um, The other big thing is there's two pillars on each side right here because that is where the drop is and that is if there wasn't pillars here you could have mobs fall right here and They actually take full damage and die. We don't want that so that's why I have these two pillars right here. Boop, boop, and a boop. Uh, other than that, it the the bad thing about it is it is a gravity drop, but that's only so we can get Enderman too. However, as you can see, uh, they eventually wander around and make their way where they need to go. Uh, and spiders, they're a little tricky, but they still do go down there like they're supposed to. I I think I could actually get rid of that. I'm just not actually, no, I probably can't because baby zombies could form up there. Although it is protected against baby zombies too. So anyway, that's the inside here. Um, and I think on this one I actually went 
my branches go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so eight. Um, who? And let's clog it back up. So that is that. Um, I really like it. Tell you the truth, it it does an awesome job, if you ask me. Uh, I like, like I was saying, it is not the most efficient because it's not using water to push all your mobs into an area. Uh, it's simply letting them walk around. Now we do use trap doors in there to uh, make the mobs think that they're just walking in a giant circle. Uh, and we'll go over that too. So let's go ahead, we'll kill these guys off. We'll check out our loot. I had completely empty inventory when we started this whole thing. And let's see, now we got we got a fair amount. We got a stack of arrows, stack of uh, of bones, stack of uh, gunpowder. I think I deleted my uh, zombie flesh. Uh, we got some ender pearls, uh, string. So yeah, it, it definitely uh, is good, especially if you're at the start of the game and if you just focus on building this real quick, you can get all the different loot you'll need. Uh, you can use uh, you can use all your um, what am I thinking? <laughs> Sorry, I can't think and do this at the same time apparently. <laughs> but uh, you can use uh, the different like the zombie flesh and stuff. It's a good way that you'll be able to get carrots. Everything in these chests I've probably gotten over the space of maybe a few hours, so uh, it adds up pretty quickly. Uh, bones are crucial at the beginning of the game if you want to have uh, if you want to have farms and stuff you can grow quick. Uh, you know you get some iron, you get a fair amount of string obviously, spider eyes, gunpowder I've gotten a lot of. Uh, most of this stuff is really good for potions. Uh, we even get some health potions every now and then. So let's see that. that. So yeah, the witch traps aren't quite as common, but I mean I've had six six carrots, nine potatoes, more bows than you could shake a stick at. Uh, oops, we need to put that in the witch. And we need that in the zombie. So yeah, it works pretty darn good. So let's go ahead and take a moment and figure out how to make this thing. Um. I am going to, I don't know that I want to do it here because that will steal everything. Uh, let's go, hmm, where should we go? Uh, hold on a second, I'm going to find a place, maybe I'll make a new world or something because if we build one too close to this it will actually interfere with each other and we'll get less. So uh, I'll be back in just a minute. Alright, we're back guys. I decided to load up my Skyblock world um, and I used to have right over there in the far distance is where I had my old mob trap. It was based off of, uh, well actually the new one was based off the old one but made better and we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and build it in here because I do need to make a better mob trap here. Uh, it, the old one worked pretty good. It only had one one spot where the mobs fell, it, it was a completely different design. Um, but same concepts were used. So let's go ahead and maybe really quick, I'll, this is my private world that I uh, play. Ooh, there we go. And uh, I'll just quickly show you it. So uh, right here is where the initial uh, game started, the tiny little island right here. Um, I built out here a spawning pad for passive creatures, uh, your cows and chickens and stuff. And uh, I've been lucky enough to actually have some spawn. It took quite a while. But if we go on over here, you can see I have a little animal pen with uh, at least three chickens, three cows, yeah, about three of each. I, I bred them. Chickens keep glitching out somehow. I'm not sure how. Because I used to have a lot more. 
But uh, anyway, my endless water, my farm, we're going to want a little more melon, by the way. Now, I have prepared, I've taken down my old one. Uh, whoops, that was the wrong one. I've taken down my old uh, system completely. Uh, what I use for this is a ton of cobble, wood, and I use the sand just for measuring. So I have 23 sand on me there. And what we're going to do is come on down where it used to be. And I've laid out a foundation for it too. Oh, I forgot to light it up though. Oh, that could be bad. Uh -huh. Oh, hello. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh my gosh. Open. Come on, get him. All right, there we go. Ah, uh, it should be everyone. All right, yeah, I forgot to put some torches on this. So this is all lower half slab so nothing can spawn but the foundation I actually put uh, the upper half slab on top just so you could see it. So this is this box right here is 11 by 15 and then I just put up these so I wouldn't fall off. <laughs> but uh, so I like to have a three three wide border all the way around that's why this is 11 by 15 so if you have an 11 by 15 square if you count in three and then place your first thing here and right there's the middle as you can see it's just uh, three empty spots one one then a whole line across then the two empty on the side and these are optional you don't actually have to leave those empty and then another whole line and then it's basically the same thing but in reverse all right because right here is going to be where our mobs fall and right here is where we can come up and hit them in the legs right here will be our spider area where we can run through so uh, hopefully uh, that makes sense to you and what I'm going to do for you really quick is I will pillar up a little bit on some sand right here so you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like Oops. All right, so as you can see, that side right there, that side right there, kind of looks like a, a rook. Is the rook? Is the rook the castle in chess? Yeah, I think so. Uh, so that's what you want is basically two of those with a one gap in the middle. And let's go ahead and start building. Now, there's a lot of tedious parts in here, and I will not make you watch that. So the first thing we're going to do is take, and this is where I put all my cobble and stuff. Uh, this should be plenty of everything, I think. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and put blocks there, blocks there, blocks there, uh, two there, two there. Leave this one empty. And then we're just doing the exact same thing on the opposite side. Block, 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 block and block. Like I said, you can fill those in. I just think it gives it a little more uh, depth from the side and stuff if that's not filled in. So now that we have that, and the whole reason we did the half slabs at the bottom is just to make it look nice and solid. Alright, so the next part we're going to do is put blocks there and there. And we're actually going to go up two on that guy. And we're going to go two on that guy and there and then on this piece right here we're gonna do a, a sissy bar basically and then we're gonna go ahead and we'll fill this guy in oh we're gonna need more of our cobble already uh, let's see we're gonna put that in there let's do that that and that uh, we won't need that yet and I'll let you know if I need more. I might even need more cobble than that. So I might have to stop the recording and go get it. So let's do the same on this side. So on the outside edge. So that now we have a little area where we can beat them in the legs. And let's see. We're going to put a back wall because we don't want them escaping. 
And then in here, what we want to do is, this is just where spiders are going to fall. Right now, this, this, these are all full blocks, which means mobs can actually spawn on them. So what we're going to do is place, oh whoops, not two of those, one of those. We're going to place a half slab down there, half slab there, 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 and there. And this will make it so now we can't place torch. Oh, can't place torch on it, therefore mobs can't spawn on it. Pretty solid thinking there, right? Uh, our next thing, oh, that's where we ran out, is we are going to, we're going to have to do this really quick. Now, this is one reason you might want to just put the piece in there. But like I said, I think it looks a little better without it. So we can leave this guy here, and I usually just, put a torch in there it looks kind of nice oh, oh get up there come on get up and we're gonna go ahead and put block there there uh, nope not there uh, there there and there Okay, so and now we basically have our bottom structure. Now, you can also put blocks here, but I kind of like to be able to see in there a little better. So I think it looks cool. All right, so let's see if we got, we have one gate. We're going to need at least one more. So that's four of those, two of those. And of course, I don't have a workbench here. I broke it and took it back. So we need a workbench. Oh, wrong one. Doo -doo -doo. And just to keep it out of the way, I think I'm going to put it right here. And I might even have to make another one at some point. Okay, so let's make our second gate. Oh, wrong way. And we're just simply putting the gates right here. And this is in case uh, a spider jockey falls down, which they shouldn't, but in case they do, uh, you don't want them out here roaming around. They'll be stuck in there. You can figure out how to kill them. Okay, so there we go, and there we go. So this is the base. Now what we need to do is basically follow this exact same structure up 23 blocks, which is why we have our... 23 blocks of sand. Now a good thing to remember is now these right here are full blocks so I usually put a torch right there and right there because mobs would be able to spawn there. And the other thing is right now baby zombies could come through there so I put half slabs on the top and now they can't get ya. Boop. And also, if that was fully open, uh, creepers could blow up and stuff like that. So we want to keep it safe. Safety is the key. All right, so what we're going to do is we are not going to need these for a while. But let's go ahead and take a bunch of this. I think it should be enough. Uh, and we want to keep our torches with us in case we have to run back and get more cobble. We want to light up the very top edge that we're putting down. And I need the 23 sand. Let's go ahead and put that up there for now. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pillar up the 23. And this, like I said, this is just so I know how high I need to go. Now, if I did everything right, if I fall on that block right there, it'll take me down to half a heart. Do I have regen on? I think I, I think I have regen on. I don't remember. Uh, other words, I just want to probably, well, I don't know if I have regen on or not. So I'm just going to actually play extra safe. Let's just build our same structure up here like a show. Uh, break you. And dupe and oh I guess I didn't even need to be do you. Ok 
Okay, and then we have a go straight doop and doop doop doop. Perfect. Now see if I didn't light this up, mobs would definitely spawn up here. So very good idea, light this area up. Uh let's see, we need to put one here, and one there, and then two. And break you. And you. Right? I can't. Uh, actually, no. Oh, no. Did I do? Oh, I did it wrong. Oh! Okay, so we need to put you there. Because that's one, two, three. No, that's. Doo -doo -doo. One, two. I just broke the wrong one, I think. This guy goes here. Now, if you if you actually have uh, it not on hardcore mode, and I think I do, I don't remember. Uh, you could just drop down and land on the the top brick over there, and you should be fine. All right, so that right? We got that. That perfect. Yeah, that looks right. All right, so then we do you there. We'll go ahead and put you there. Now I am being very careful and holding shift this entire time. Because I am very good at falling. Uh, and then you there, and you there. So we'll throw a torch here. I really don't remember if I have... Uh, regen on this or not so alright so now we're gonna go back down hopefully we get all our sand because we really don't want to lose any of it and I guess technically I could have just put a single block up there somewhere just to tell me how high I needed to go let's see that look right yeah, it looks good. Okay, and let's go down here real quick. See if I can pick up any of my other blocks. Okay, I think we're good. And boom, right here. Boop, never mind. There's only one block, I didn't need to do that. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to build our base all the way up there. And I will uh, not force you guys to watch that because that could be extremely boring. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I will see you guys in a minute. Okay, so now we're at the top here. And what we need to do is we need to make sure the spider portion of this is going to go up two more and this just helps us uh, know where our mobs are going to be traveling so we're going to do there there we'll pop you out and there and there Okay, and then the next thing we need to do is make sure, actually we could, well, we'll just go up one for right now. Uh, the next thing is we need to make sure there's a path for our actual mobs. Now, this right here can be a wall on the two sides. We're going to leave the middle where that torch is open, but we want to have a path on both sides. So let's hurry and do that real quick. Right there, right there, right there, like so. Um, then what we're going to do is make it so we have a path for the mobs to walk all the way around. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and that, and that, to there. And let's see, let's get that guy taken care of. Whoop, right here, come down here, like so. There we go.
Okay, so now we have that. Then we're going to add one more just on the edge there to make it into a little channel for them to go down. And I think we're doing pretty good on our our cobble supply. Uh, we've we've used quite a bit, but I think we might be able to make it okay. I don't think I need a bow, but okay. Uh, so here we have this, and let's do the same on this side. Oh, hello. And perfect. Now we're actually going to be taking one of these out, but I don't want to do that just yet. So right here in the middle of the spider spawner, we're going to take this guy out right here. Like so. And we're going to do the same on this side. Which should be that. Yep, this guy right here. There we go. And now you can see this is the the area where they fall down and uh, they walk around until they actually fall down our actual mob trap part. Um, let's see. So let's go ahead. We're going to build this up too high real quick. There, there, there. Like so. And that will keep them from getting back up. Now you don't want to go much deeper for this than too high because then they might detect it as a drop that they don't want to take. Uh, mobs usually aren't afraid to fall down or go down a thing that's too high. Alright, the next thing we need is to build our spider guard. So we put one there, one there, and we break that guy. And this will keep uh, if somehow mobs could actually get across there, uh, this would actually keep them from going down the, the spider. But this actually also acts as a, a suffocator basically for your uh, skeletons. So we want that definitely. Boom. Um, although we might want to light that up just a little bit. So we're going to put one there, one there. One there and one there. That should do. All right, and dig, dig, and dig. Okay, and it looks like what we'll want to do now is go out. This is one. Yeah, because that's going to be a pad. So we're going to go out 11. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Oh, missed it. Eleven. Something tells me I will have to go back and get more uh, cobble and stuff. And we're going to go ahead and build us walls right here. Oh, I didn't need you. Oh, you're not. Oh, good. It did give it to me. <laughs> And I need to run down apparently because I didn't bring any of my wood up. So I'm going to run down there. I'm also going to finish these uh, these pieces right here. And we're going to break you real quick so I can have a way up. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go down and uh, get some wood. And I'm also going to finish off these cross beams right here. And when I get back, we'll continue. So I will see you in a minute.